Hello, it is Social Media Saturday, January 21st, 2023. Steve Cypress here, and the Twitter files that were first released, I don't know, about a month ago, and they're still going on, uh, have revealed all kinds of nefarious, uh, well, let's just put it this way, the just about every single uh, uh, truth that's now being revealed with lots of proof was uh, we were accused of uh, conspiracy theorists and uh, you know, you were just making that stuff up and you're off your rocker and we were uh, thrown off. I had videos taken down off of YouTube and thrown off of Facebook and couldn't post on uh, all the social media sites. But now that Elon Musk took over just one of them and possibly, yeah, pretty much uh, one of the more, in, well, significant, but one of the more, uh, uh, let's say, not as powerful, let's say one of the weakest social media sites as a company, Twitter. Uh, compared to Google, Facebook, which owns Instagram, and Google, which owns YouTube. Come on now. Uh, there's still lots of crap going on over there, but the recent Twitter files have revealed stuff about Big Pharma, uh, and all the uh, the crap went on between uh, the government and the big pharmaceutical companies, pretty much killing people and killing businesses and destroying lives all over the planet, as I said over and over and over for years now. Uh, starting almost three years ago, uh, uh, much more damage done by the shutdowns and the anti-science authoritarian arbitrary rulings uh, now that we see fueled by, uh, by government working with big tech and the media and big pharma uh, did a heck of a lot more damage than that virus ever could have. Um, and so maybe now this this will get uh, this post will be taken down off all the social media except for Twitter, which uh, now allows the truth along with, uh, it's been a couple of years since the whole parlor situation, if you remember that one. Uh, that has been proven by the Twitter files that it was all kinds of BS going on and they were, you know, pulled off of the Apple store and then taken down off of iTunes and taken out of the Amazon servers uh, uh, falsely. Uh, they've been vindicated. Uh, all kinds of crap going on. Uh, we were warned by uh, Eisenhower uh, just before I was born, uh, about almost seven years ago now, uh, on his way out of office, he warned about the industrial military complex, meaning the government working with big corporations and, uh, and especially military corporations, you know, these big corporations that uh, rely on government grants, uh, government contracts, especially all the military. They wouldn't exist without the government. So they're pretty much an arm of the government. Same with the media, same with big tech. Uh, they have operated as pretty much an arm of the government. So what does that mean for small business owners? Nothing you don't know already. That big business, big government, big tech, big pharma, uh, big pharma, big tech are former big business. They are all at all times conspiring against anything that is good for small business and small business owners, your families, your employees, your customers, uh, on and on and on. We're also seeing that at this World Economic Forum, how much they hate the middle class. Oh, the middle class makes too much money and all that kind of stuff. Those are a lot of those are small business owners who we are independent. We don't depend on big corporations or big farm or big tech or big media or government, which are all, all put together, employ a huge number of people. Uh, we are fighting on our own. That's the biggest lesson that I take nothing. We didn't know already, but we have overwhelming proof. And you see uh, people trying to downplay it, the, the co-conspirators in the media and so forth, trying to downsplay it. Oh, there's nothing, no smoking gun here. It's not, it's boring, it's whatever. Of course it's boring, it's the truth. It's just evidence of facts. If you know, I have a law degree, for those that don't know, if you ever sat in on a trial in a courtroom, it's not what you see on a TV show. Uh, it's days or, and weeks sometimes of just excruciatingly boring evidence, especially in a complex trial over something scientific or medical, all the experts with all their, I mean, the jury's just sitting there going, what? And I sat there in the gallery going, what? Days and days and weeks of really boring stuff. A lot of that is what the Twitter files are, just tweets and messages that are, you know, pretty much boring. It's not written by script writers for a TV show or a movie, and it's not acted out by high-paid actors 
who, uh, you know, inject all the emotion into it. It's just the facts. A lot of times just the facts are boring, but it's all there. So for all of us that were called conspiracy theory, it's theorists and, you know, uh, you know, we didn't know what we're talking about and we're making stuff up and we're, we're, uh, we're just uh, paranoid, all that kind of stuff. Uh, of course, just about all of it was completely true and a lot more that will be coming out uh, in the near future. And so that's it, just a mindset thing for business owners. Understand that no time uh, do you think, uh, should you think that you can rely on the government or the government will ever do anything good for you. Or the uh, short term, once in a while, but long term, they are, uh, big government uh, does not like small business owners. We're independent. We do our own thing. We're tough to control. Big government loves controlling people. Big corporations, big government, media, education, uh, not education. Education happens outside the classroom, the schooling, uh, universities and schools, all about control, compliance of the masses. They don't like us small business owners. So if you ever think that anyone but another small business owner is on your side, banish that thought and get back to work. It's just the way it is. That'll do it for Social Media Saturday. January 21st, 2023, not really teaching you how to make money with social media today, just a general message based on what we've learned from one social media platform and one courageous owner of a social media platform, Elon Musk, and the Twitter files. I'll catch you tomorrow on Sunday Funday.